Many different fever patterns have been described, but three basic fever types are sustained, remittent, and intermittent. Sustained fevers have little fluctuation in temperature. They oscillate less than 1 degree Celsius daily, and the body temperature doesn't return to normal, except potentially when an antipyretic is provided. Some examples include typhoid fever, drug fever, viral pneumonia, and fever caused by malignancy. Remittent fevers are similar in that the body temperature doesn't return to normal unless an antipyretic is provided, but they have more fluctuation than sustained fevers. That is, they oscillate more than 1 degree Celsius daily. This is the most common type of fever pattern, and it can occur with a wide variety of etiologies. With intermittent fevers, the body temperature returns to normal at least once daily. This pattern of fever may signal a pyogenic infection such as abdominal abscess, and has been described with tuberculosis and lymphoma. Fevers that show a large variation between the peak and nadir, or high fevers with a rapid rate of defervescence, may also be referred to as hectic or spiking fevers. This fever pattern can occur with bacteremia. There are a couple subtypes of the intermittent fever. A quotidian fever occurs once a day, such as with malaria caused by the parasite Plasmodium nolesi. A fever that spikes twice daily is referred to as a double quotidian or biphasic fever. It may be seen with systemic onset juvenile idiopathic arthritis and some drug fevers, such as those caused by carbamazepine. Relapsing fevers are febrile episodes that are followed by afebrile periods of one day duration or longer. Malaria, depending on the parasite species, can also cause fevers with a 48 or 72 hour periodicity. Plasmodium vivax, ovale, and falciparum can cause tertian fevers in which febrile paroxysms recur every other day. A cordian fever, in which fevers recur every three days, can be caused by plasmodium malaria. Recurrent fevers refer to episodes of fever that recur over six months duration or greater. They can occur at regular or irregular intervals. When the intervals are regular, they are known as periodic or cyclic fevers. A classic example would be FAPA syndrome. A recurrent fever that occurs at irregular intervals is characteristic of several monogenic periodic fever syndromes such as familial Mediterranean fever. The pell epstein fever is a phenomenon that may be seen in patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It is characterized by fevers that gradually rise and fall across one to two weeks, interspersed with afebrile periods of similar duration. Or more simplistically, patients with Hodgkin's disease may show a fever that is high for one week and low for the next. A similar pattern may be seen with borreliosis. Unfortunately, the correlation of specific fever patterns with specific etiologies is not particularly great. Nonetheless, there are a few conditions that have a characteristic pattern, and thus careful assessment may aid in establishing an etiology of the fever.